Hi, this is Oliveira with Brands Gateway, and in this video, I will explain how to install Brands Gateway's plugin for WooCommerce. Before we start, there are a few requirements that need to be fulfilled by your site. So first, you need to make sure that you do have an active subscription with Brands Gateway. Second, you need to have an SSL certificate. And third, you need to have WooCommerce plugin installed. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go through all of the steps together. So the installation of the plugin is an easy three step process and we're going to start from WooCommerce admin panel. And the very first thing that you will need to do is enable pretty permalink. So go to settings from the dashboard and then select permalinks. Click on post name and then scroll down to the bottom and click on save changes. Next is installing WooCommerce Brands plugin that we will provide for you. So um, go to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Choose file. Select the actual file and click on install now. Then click on activate plugin. Next is creating API keys that later we will use for connecting the actual store with Brands Gateway. So to create the API keys, go on WooCommerce, then go to settings, click on advanced, then select REST API and click on add key. In the description, you can add anything and you need to make sure that the permissions are added to read and write, then click on generate API key. So with this, we have successfully created the API keys. Next, I have switched to brandsgateway.com and you need to access your account by clicking on your name, then your profile, and then go to dropshipping and select WooCommerce and then click on connect. So with this, your store will be successfully connected and you need to open your email to check for an email from us. So this is the email, the invite email that you need to accept. And then insert your website URL here. And you will need to copy the API key, which we previously created, and then the API secret. And then click on validate API. So these are some of the store settings, which can always be changed afterwards. So let's go through all of them. The first one is the currency of your store. The second one is uh, the language uh, and English and German is offered. And this is the price rounding. The next thing is the synchronization settings. So synchronization settings show which features will be influenced by Brands Gateway. So for example, in case you wish to change the descriptions and the titles or translate them in your own language, you will need to disable those settings. Otherwise, once the system gets updated, they will go back to their original state as on Brands Gateway. Once you're done with the settings, you need to agree to the terms and conditions and click on register. Next is the brands filter. So you can choose to select them all, or you can choose to include or exclude any of the brands. For example, if you don't wish to import some of the brands, simply uncheck those boxes and then scroll back down to the bottom and click on save and continue. Next is the vendors filter, which is the same with, which works the same with the brands filter. So you can select all, or you can choose to exclude some of the vendors then click on save and continue 
And we have come to the final step, which is category mapping. And category mapping is used for the import of our products to your website. So there are a few ways to import the, to do the category mapping, and we're going to go through them all. So the first one is by selecting all the categories. On the left side is displayed the retailer category. So on the left side will be displayed our uh, brands gateways categories and then in this case you will need to select by uh, you will need to select the edit button and then under dropship category you will need to select a category on your woocommerce store where the products will be imported to uh, in case you choose uncategorized because in this case i haven't uh, added any category they will go straight to the home page then uh, you can select the markup the minimum markup requirement is 1.5 i'm going to select 2.0 in this case and then you can add a fixed shipping value which will be included in the final price so once you're done with all of the categories scroll down to the bottom and click on start import i'm not going to start the import in this case for the purpose of this video because i want to show you all the other features so another way of importing the products is by duplicating the mappings. Uh, by clicking on duplicate mapping, it will give, it will automatically give you all of Brands Gateways categories on the left side, and and it will duplicate all of the categories on your store. Then the only thing you need to do here is change the markups uh, according to your uh likings and then add a fixed fixed shipping value or just uh, leave it at zero scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on start import and the last option is by adding mapping so in this case you will need to click on add mapping and in this case you will have to map the products uh, the categories manually so on the left side under retailer category for example i will select accessories man belts and i've in this case i've previously created a category on my woocommerce store and i will select here under dropshipper category i will select man belts meaning that this products will be will be imported directly to this category then you add the markup of your liking and a fixed shipping value and then you can click on start import for any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at brandsgateway.com or by WhatsApp.